I think really the only way to resolve this is a Welcome to another daily video everyone, this video is a bit more of a serious video, more of a conversation, a debate and such So um, stick around with me, watch this for video to the end, hit that subscribe button, like this video, turn on that post notification bell if you want to see more Before we do get this video, obviously I announced, uh, I think yesterday or the day before, a few days ago now, that I'm going on Love Island And yes, I'm still going on Love Island, so this is a pre-recorded video, When this, this will be out when I'm Mate, coming up to the weeks where I'm probably going to be in there. But to dive straight into the video, right into the meet, uh, KSI, JJ and Deji, Comedy Shorts Gamer, or actually it's just Deji now, let's be honest, uh, are beefing again. Once again, you all saw the beef around Christmas. I made a podcast on it. You can see that it'll be in, up there now. The whole situation was just a shambles. It was like truth here, a bit of truth here, doing videos for clout. And there's always going to be that agenda behind doing a video. Like you're going to be a certain way on camera. So is it really authentic what you're saying? Or are you just doing it to get more views for more fame? For more likes, comments, shares, etc. Now, in my opinion, the thing that happened from what I saw, and obviously we only see the internet side of it uh, that was public between Gaius and Deji, I think they're both in the wrong. I do feel like because you can see from JJ, but I'm going to try and not take sides in this. I promise you, I'm going to try and not take sides. I'm going to be as honest and uh, honest with my opinions but essentially. I do feel like yes, KSI probably did make some mistakes with Deji, maybe not communicating with him as much with his family, but he, Deji was being a little bit, I'm not saying a big, a little bit of a bitch at times in terms of he was contradicting himself a lot. He was saying things that in the end he just admitted that yeah, it was just Deji's fault. Like, like in KSI's video, he made a good response to it. Like, I'm not sure whether he's manipulating people or if that's actually the truth. But it came across as KSI was being genuine about it and he has actually changed. But at the same time, okay, as we know, JJ, he doesn't give two or even one fuck about anything nowadays, apparently. This whole thing is quite really stupid if you narrow it down. Like, if we had a, a moderator in between them two now, I mean, KSI and Deji, you're welcome to come on my podcast beside me. We can talk this out. It's just not gonna happen, is it? But you're more than welcome to chat with me because I am a fan of both of you at the end of the day and I have my opinions. As I was saying, I think it's very stupid and very petty how if you, it just pins down to the fact that Randolph, uh, you know, Randolph the YouTuber and rapper, a friend of KSI as well, uh, said that Deji had the Dead YouTube channel on a game show that was recorded, televised on, televised on you, like public on YouTube. So at the end of the day, like, it's just a jo small joke, and this thing you took it completely out of proportion. And that started the diss track, that started the thing of KSI getting involved. But there is one thing with this, he made a 45 minute video. My first speculation as soon as I saw this was one, I, I thought of Tati and I thought of James Charles straight away. I'm not too much into that whole world of you know beauty and controversy, but I did, I did see some of that because it, it was hella lit. And if you actually look at Deji's title, it was by. Full stop. And if you look at James Charles's video, no, Tatty's video on James Charles, as we saw it, it was by sisters. Full stop. So there's a lot of similarities there. And the fact that long formed content, you got you got to understand this. People that are not in the YouTube world and don't get it. Long form content nowadays gets more views, gets more watch time, which equals more revenue, more money, more clout, more subscribers, more everything. YouTube will recommend that more. That's why documentaries, uh, things like podcasts are actually getting more publicity and more views nowadays. So like, if you really think about it, I watched the video, he probably could have narrowed it down to like 50, 10, 15 minute video, but obviously he stretched it to the 45 minute video, so there's no speculations there. In Deji's defense though, he did make some points that were a bit, uh, like iffy, like I did, I did believe half of it, and I felt like half of it was he was contradicting himself too. Now I have my opinions, but even still, none of us can really have a, a full, honest opinion until we see uh, KSI's opinion on it or his. Because like KSI tweeted, there's two sides to every story, and that's very, very fucking true. Deji could be saying something, even if you, everyone thinks he's completely honest, there might be a different side of the story, might be a twist in it. Because when you're making a video, if you're telling somebody your side of the story. No matter what, how truthful you are, you're going to be as biased as you can to make you look like the better person, and that's just how people are. So until KSI makes a video on it, you can't have a full 360 degree uh, like opinion opinion on the matter because it's not it's not valid when you only have one side of the story. However, KSI did tweet out that he just doesn't care. Like, there's two things about that. It's it's kind of annoying because I do want him to make a video on it, like explaining himself maybe. But at the same time, I do find it funny. Like he put the meme, ah shit, here we go again. Then he tweeted about how, like exactly what I said, it is like the James Charles Tatty thing, put it for 45 minutes. And he had ad rolls in it, so that boy is getting cheddar. That boy is getting some serious paper, you know what I'm saying? And he also tweeted that if he thinks he's going to respond to that, he's not. He's just going to leave it there. And I do think there's two things. KSI 
is losing subscribers on both channels and Deji is gaining it. It's the opposite way around where, than it was a few days ago. But I do feel like this is something that KSI knows from the past. Like he said, he's been doing YouTube for so many years now, seven, ten plus years even, that he knows how it works and he knows that like he for him it doesn't there's some YouTubers that lose their mind if they lose start losing subscribers like oh I'm gonna have to work a nine to five now, I am gonna be home like jobless and stuff like that is really not the case. Like there's patterns, it fluctuates so much. If you look at graphs of YouTubers that have gone flat and then they've gone up again and gone flat, it is a pattern, a continuous pattern and it always happens. Look at people like Joe So, look at people like Wolfie, there's so many YouTubers, Logan Paul, that all these YouTubers, look at them, how they have a peak and then they'll have a plateau when they go down and they'll have a peak plateau and it'll be a continuous fluctuation of views, subscribers, whatever that milestone may be. So I feel like KSI is losing subscribers, but a lot of people are jumping on that bandwagon again. Like um, many people have discussed before with the James Charles things, do people actually care about this? Or are they just jumping on the whole meme of, let's all unsub to him, like what are you actually doing from that? If you like the person, you like the content, stay subscribed. I would say, don't unsubscribe from Deji, subscribe to Deji and subscribe to KSI. Why would you unsubscribe? If see, that's what I say, that's what I'm saying, your friend, yeah, you've known him for years, you know, he's funny, he's cool. If he does one thing wrong, says one thing that's slightly out of order, no, not my friend now, like, you wouldn't do that in real life, so it works the same with YouTube as that. If everyone makes mistakes, but you can't unsubscribe, you should unsubscribe to someone if they continuously make loads and loads of mistakes and you just don't like the content, but if you be honest, most people do like KSI's or if you like Deji's content individually. Like I said, I'm not taking sides, but KSI, I think he doesn't care at the moment because he knows it's just a pattern and then as soon as you're as he does something else, whatever his next adventure is, it'll go back up again and peak. One thing I did notice from Deji that I, that I didn't like because it was almost like contradicting himself is when he would show uh, like KSI videos like hitting him and like punching him when it first of all it's on video if you done that behind camera and stuff Then that would be out of order. I understand that um, But the fact he's doing it on camera is for video entertainment purposes and then the day you can say oh But I was I was uh, naive enough to just fix it having fun with it But at the end of the day you were still old enough Deji you back then even no matter how old you were Whether you're 18 or 20 or 21 you're still old enough to walk away from the situation feel like I'm not gonna film any more people any more videos of this person after once, maybe even twice, the second time you should be like, this is out of order if it really did happen and you felt like that. I feel like it was a cop out from Deji in the sense that if he really did feel how he felt at the time, he would have just like ended there and just thought, okay, I'm not making any more videos of you and made it clear. And he, it was weird that Deji also showed like footages, like recent footages as well of Deji also punching KSI, so it wasn't like one-sided, they both done it to each other, they're brothers in the end of the day, it's just fun rivalry, it's a punch here and there. However, in Deji's defence, I will say that a lot of things do sound like something that KSI would do, not that I know KSI personally, but just the type of person he is, like, He's a KSI is a humble, cool guy, but at times he can he can have an ego. I understand that why he might not contact Deji as much, why he might lose his temper, especially after putting something public. So there is a debate about that. Should anything even be public at all? I think really the only way to resolve this is a boxing man. man no, we don't want another fight. We don't want another fight. I feel like them two off camera needs to sit down with their parents. You know, like for real. Without the cameras, without all the YouTube bullshit, because end of the day, if you're on YouTube, you want to like make yourself look good. Sit down, have a proper discussion about it as a family, and that might bring you apart, it might not, but at least you had a discussion about it. You can be raw and honest without the cameras, without millions and millions of people watching and using it for views. Because I do feel like it's, it is weird people use. But then again, I would. It's. I mean. I agree with it. I understand people use drama for views because you get money, but there's an extent to drama that's staged or fake and stuff is like real life shit. I do also understand Deji's frustration in the sense that he always could, he's gonna be considered. If he was another YouTuber, I feel like he could just compare against it, but he is in JJ's shadow, KSI's shadow, as he has mentioned loads and loads of times. I don't think it should be escalated to this far forward as it should be now. Like, I'm never talking to you, I'm never talking to you, because that's just their ego and pride getting way out of hand and that's coming from me that which is like i'm still a kid i don't know any shit about shit i don't i know nothing but i do know that having an ego and having pride does not always take you down the best route so maybe even consider the other person's opinion even if you don't under even if you don't agree with them you should have a mutual understanding which is what i've uh, learned recently but one thing the thing about like case like bullying people i, I feel like it, he might not, I don't think it's his intentions to do that because at the end of the day, he, he, he doesn't want to lose subscribers. Even though he says that, he doesn't care, but ideally he wants to just be the biggest entertainer, biggest YouTuber. He doesn't primarily want to do that. He's just, in his head, is trolling. Maybe he does need to see reality for what it actually is sometimes when he's knocking people down when they're already down, i.e. Joe Well or Deji and stuff like that. So, because I don't think, 
he needs to realise the impact he has on this gen generation of people, especially in the UK and in the world as well, but especially in the UK, like, whatever he says, he's got millions of people that will follow him and do what, they, do what he says, feel how he says and agree with anything he says and he has a massive thing so when he does say in the videos unsubscribe from this person or send hate to this person like their their, their army are strong and they will compel against anyone that KSR desires to one thing that really did like get me a bit in the video like I didn't like it, it just made me unsettled is that like he then he did talk about a like not living ending his life which is connotations of suicide which is it's awful. I, I really don't think that should have been kept in the video. Like to, at that point, I thought this is this is too far because there's there's two things, and I don't want to be seen as the guy that's you know just thinking everything's fake. But it could be. I'm not saying that that's fake, but it could be a cop out in a sense that he's just using that. And if he is using that, then that is is horrific and disgusting. That if he's using the whole suicide card as like a way to just feel like everyone should be um, sympathising with him, but if it is true and i do feel like i mean he did look real in that video then that is that's really bad and they should really get this sorted out as, as soon as possible because when it's something like life is on the line and especially with your family there's no messing about you just got to sort it out put it on a plate sort everything out that's all for today there's a lot more to do with this situation i can't be go bothered actually going through it all because at the end of the day it's not my problem but not even just that it's just like you guys need to make your own verdict and let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this whole ksi versus deji beef thank you guys ever so much for watching if you want me to make a part two i might make more videos of this depending what else comes out i'm not but i don't want to become that drama channel that always just reports on dramatic things because we're about positivity on this channel elevated pushing people forward going to the top we're going to strike our dreams subscribe to the channel like the button yeah because that's what you do don't you you like you're going to be liking this button and we're aiming for 20 likes <laughs> turn on that post notification and i'll see you guys in a bit